In the muted light of the shelter, Katrina's gaze locked onto a large, emaciated dog with hauntingly familiar blue eyes. Time seemed to freeze as she stared, her heart racing. Could it really be him? Could this be Lord, the beloved dog she had lost years ago? The dog in front of her was a shadow of the one she remembered. His coat was mangy and patchy, with scabs marking where fur once grew thick and shiny. His ribs jutted out painfully, evidence of prolonged starvation. But it was his eyes, those deep blue eyes, that sent a shiver through her. Could it truly be Lord? The same dog she'd raised from a pup, the one who had been her constant companion, was now unrecognizable. As Katrina stepped closer, she searched desperately for some sign of recognition, some spark that would tell her this was indeed her long-lost friend. But the dog's gaze remained clouded, distant, and unseeing. There was no flicker of memory, no wag of the tail, no spark of familiarity. Her heart ached with uncertainty, and she felt the crushing weight of disappointment. It will take him a while to recover, the vet at the shelter said gently, noticing Katrina's distress. He's under heavy sedation right now. This dog has been through more than most can imagine. The wave of joy that had surged through Katrina when she first thought she had found Lord was now laced with a deep, painful uncertainty. Could this broken, suffering creature truly be the same playful, loving dog she had known? Or was it just wishful thinking on her part? Her hand trembled as she extended it toward the dog, her heart silently pleading for some recognition, some sign that the bond they had shared for so many years still existed. But as she knelt by his side, her mind flashed back to the time they had spent together, the bond they had forged, and the long, painful years of searching that had followed his disappearance. Katrina was a young woman full of life, and she beamed as she cradled a small blue-eyed puppy in her arms for the first time. Lord had been a gift, a source of comfort and companionship after the loss of her husband. With his boundless energy and mischievous spirit, he quickly became more than just a pet, he was her lifeline, her confidant, her shadow. The two of them shared countless adventures, from long walks in the park to quiet evenings by the fire. Lord had been there to comfort her during her darkest days, offering love and support when she felt lost. Each morning, Lord's excited barks woke her with joy, and each night his soft, rhythmic breathing lulled her to sleep. He was a constant source of happiness, pulling her out of her grief, but one day in the autumn of 2017, everything changed. Katrina had come home from work to find her backyard gate ajar and Lord missing. Panic surged through her as she searched every corner of the yard, calling his name until her voice was hoarse. But there was no response, no sign of Lord. He was simply gone. In the days and weeks that followed, Katrina searched relentlessly. She posted flyers all over town contacted every animal shelter in the area, and even started a social media campaign in hopes that someone somewhere had seen Lord. But despite her best efforts, there was no trace of him. The silence was deafening, and the hole in her heart grew with each passing day. Her house, once filled with the sounds of Lord's playful barks and energetic paws, felt empty. She spent nights wide awake, haunted by the thought of him out there, cold and scared, perhaps injured or worse. Every corner of her home reminded her of Lord, of what she had lost, and the ache in her heart seemed endless. For Lord, the world had become a cruel and unforgiving place. The streets were harsh to a dog, accustomed to the warmth of a home, and each day was a battle for survival. He scavenged for food, dodged cars, and fled from other stray dogs who saw him as competition. His once shiny coat became matted and dull, his body thin and frail. The streets were not kind to him, and every night he curled up in an alley, longing for the soft bed and gentle touch he once knew. People, once sources of love and affection, now passed him by without a second glance or shooed him away. He no longer understood why the world had turned so cold, why the warmth of home was replaced by the harsh reality of survival. And as the days turned into weeks, then months, the light in Lord's eyes began to dim. 
It was during one of his darkest nights that a group of volunteers from a local animal rescue stumbled upon him. Weak and exhausted, Lord barely had the strength to resist as they gently coaxed him into their vehicle. For the first time in a long while, he felt the warmth of human kindness. At the shelter, they cared for him, tended to his wounds, and gave him food and a place to rest. But while his body slowly began to heal, the emotional scars ran deep. Lord had seen too much, and the playful, trusting dog Katrina once knew was gone, replaced by a creature weary of the world. Katrina stood in the shelter, staring at the dog she had once loved so fiercely. The volunteers watched with bated breath, hoping for a spark of recognition, for some sign that this was the reunion they all hoped it to be. But as the minutes ticked by, that spark never came. Lord, if this was truly him, seemed indifferent, unaware of the bond they had once shared. Tears welled up in Katrina's eyes as the reality set in. She left the shelter that day heartbroken, the weight of her uncertainty crushing her. But even as she walked away, something inside her refused to give up. If this was Lord, then he had been through unimaginable hardships. Of course, he didn't recognize her immediately. He was scared, confused, and broken. But she had to believe that somewhere inside, the Lord she knew was still there. With renewed determination, Katrina returned to the shelter the next day. This time, she brought with her something that she hoped would trigger a memory, a tangible reminder of their bond. As she approached the kennel, her heart raced. She knelt down in front of Lord and with a soft voice, whispered the phrase she had said to him countless times. Good boy, Lord, good boy. At first, nothing happened, but then slowly, something changed. Lord's ears perked up, his eyes brightened, and for the first time since their reunion, there was a flicker of recognition. He sniffed her hand cautiously, and then with a soft whine, he nuzzled into her palm. Katrina's heart swelled with emotion as she wrapped her arms around him, tears streaming down her face. The dog she had searched for, mourned, and never given up on was finally back in her arms. The shelter staff cheered softly, their own eyes misty with tears. It was a moment of pure joy, a reunion that had seemed impossible but had finally happened. Back home, Lord slowly began to heal, both physically and emotionally. Each day, Katrina saw more of the dog she had once known returning. His eyes sparkled with life again, his tail wagged happily, and he once again followed her around the house like her faithful shadow. The bond they had shared, once lost to the harshness of the world, was rekindled stronger than ever before. Katrina knew that they had both been through so much, but they had found each other again, and that was all that mattered. In the years that followed, Katrina often found herself gazing at Lord, reflecting on the journey they had taken. Their story was one of love, perseverance, and the unbreakable bond between a human and her dog. It was a story of hope, of never giving up, and of the incredible strength that comes from love. And as Lord lay by her side, his head resting on her lap, Katrina knew that their bond, once lost, had been found again, more precious than ever.